Hello everyone, my name is Cindy and I am back with another Maker Monday for you. This month we have May flowers. We are making a flower mirror out of recycled and decompostable spoons. Alright, so to get started we're just going to open our paint and we are going to give this wooden circle just a cover of paint. Now this uh, craft is going to be fairly messy, so I highly, highly recommend that you put something underneath your workstation. You can take apart the bag that this came in, use, this is an old Amazon package, just torn apart, newspaper, just anything to protect the surface that you're working on. And make sure you're not wearing anything that you'll get upset if it gets paint on it. Alright, so we're going to let that dry. And we're gonna move on to our spoons. So you can either paint them first or stamp them first. I'm gonna stamp mine first. And some of them will just snap, but some of them you'll need scissors. You wanna cut them off so that there's just a little bit of stem left. start painting your spoons or you can paint them before you break them so you have the handle to hold on to. Let's get the front and when you get the back you want to leave the like deep part of the spoon the sort of like bullish part of the spoon you don't want to paint that on the back because you want the glue dot to be able to adhere directly to the spoon itself. Since it's plastic paint on plastic spoons, you're gonna get some of this uh, sort of streaking. Might not be totally even, but I really like that because I think it kind of makes it look more like a natural flower petal. It gives it a little bit of texture. And then of course you can go back and give it more layers to get more coverage. Okay, so now you've got your spoons painted. I would say give them um, two or three coats and make sure you let them dry in between and that's going to be the most effective to make sure that no paint gets underneath and ends up kind of bubbly. So just let it dry in between two or three layers and then we're going to go back to our wooden circle to be the base and before we put anything on the front we're going to put our hanging equipment up to the back so you should have these two little ring hooks here you're going to take your glue dots put one on each peel the plastic off and then you're going to want to put it near the top and put the second one parallel at the same level on the other side. And these glue dots are pretty strong. Definitely much stronger than the ones I used for the sample project. But we also have this cute little roll of duct tape for you guys. Because it's a mirror, we don't want anything falling or breaking. So after you put those glue dots in, you can just also support it with a little bit of duct tape. Usually it rips right off, but if you need some scissors, go oh grab some scissors. Right, then we have a twine for hanging. Just feed those through the rings. Try to keep it 
out of your paint like I just did. And then you can just tie a very simple knot with the edges together. Just tight. And now you have the string to hang it. Okay, so back onto the front. You're gonna take your little mirror and try to center that as close to center as possible on your painted circle base on the front painted side. And then grab a pencil or a pen and you're just gonna mark the outline of the circle. Use that to stop getting fingerprints on my mirror. Now you have a circle within a circle. And that's where we are gonna start our first row of flowers, or our spoons for the petals. So grab your glue dots. I'm gonna do this one at a time. I think six is a really good number for your inner circle. So take one of your spoons, put the glue dot on that bottom full part of the spoon. Good and stuck on there. And you're gonna want it so that the glue dot is just about right on that line of the circle. Since this middle row, right around the circle, is what's going to be supporting the mirror, you're going to want to use your duct tape here as well. The outer row of spoons that we'll use aren't going to be holding the mirror up, so that one will be good with just the duct tape. I'm sorry, with just the glue dots. Then you just work your way around the circle. mention that if you have spray paint at home that's another alternative for coloring this so instead of doing the paint provided at the beginning of the kit you would do this part first you would get your spoons glued in and then at the end before you put the mirror on just spray paint all over it
So there is my central roll complete. You see my flowers are, my spoons are not totally flat against the cardboard, that's the, the wood piece, they're a little bit up. I got seven around, and then we're gonna start on to our second row. So it's gonna be very similar, but we're not gonna be using the duct tape. And we're gonna be working in the spaces between the spoons of this middle row. Just pop the spoon in there. with two rows and if you want to you can add a third row and you'll be working you'd be putting the spoons just underneath the spoons from the first row you should have enough spoons in your kit to do up to three rows of up to eight petals but I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it good with just this for now Okay, so now we are on to the attaching the mirror part. So you're going to take your glue dots and just put them on top of the duct tape on top of the spoons. So you want to put one on each spoon on the middle row. Yeah, just on the duct tape there so it sticks really good. I'm also going to add a little duct tape support to the center by cutting a strip, rolling it backwards. Now that we have the glue dots, I'm also going to give it a little bit of duct tape support in the center just by cutting a little strip, folding it over, putting it right there in the center. Then you can take your mirror. Press good. Not too good that you break it. <laughs> up any spots that aren't covered as well as you would have liked. Got a little bit of spoons popping out at the bottom that didn't get painted. And there you have your spoon flower mirror. Happy making!